How are you? How are you feeling? Good. I feel good. Uh, it's good to get back out there. Um, you know, healthy now, so feeling good. Yeah, yeah. Are you 100% pretty much? Like, like yeah. if there was a game tomorrow, would game you be tomorrow, playing? Probably, yeah, I'd, I'd play. I'd probably say I'm like 90, 95% right now. So. Tyler, what are your early impressions of this new offense? Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, Coach Dawson brings a lot of energy. Um, we go fast, we huddle up. It's, it's a well-balanced offense. You know, rip it down the field and also uh, run, the, run the ball well, so I'm excited for it. Do you really like that fast element? of the offense itself? Yeah, you need to mix it up. You got to catch defenses on, on their toes, and it, it's good. So um, I'm really excited uh, for the future with it. Well, center with Matt Lee. I know you came down here when he was on his recruiting business. What's been your impressions of him? Yeah, Matt's a, a one, one hell of a kid. You know, he, uh, he knows his points, knows everything. Great guy. Um, you know, really takes control of that offensive line. Um, is that leader that we need up there. So I'm excited for him and excited that he's here. What is uh, you guys obviously added a lot to the offensive line in the offseason. Just what was your reaction to all that? And especially when you see it's a pretty big group. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's good to always add new pieces. And, um, you know, Matt and Javon are going to uh, be great pieces right now. And they're, they're going to come in and work hard. And um, already already been great leaders for the young guys. And um, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to play behind them. And, um, yeah, it'll be good. Tyler, obviously, last week you go according to the plan with injury and struggles with a new offense and stuff last year. Um, is why did you decide that coming back to Miami, you know, going to the draft or looking at other places, would be the best decision for you? Yeah, I mean, I think I still need to develop uh, in some ways, and uh, I feel like here was the best place for me. Um, you know, Coach Chris Ball and I have been very tight um, throughout this whole process, and um, you know, it's been good. So uh, I felt like this was the best decision for me. Yeah, I could have gone somewhere else, draft, whatever, but. Uh, for my development, um, I think one more year here is good. I, I guess, um, Jalen, like, what's it like the first day of spring? We always ask, is it? What's the at, what was the atmosphere like today? Yeah, it's always it's always good to get back on uh, the first day. Um, so we're excited to get out there. Um, I mean, obviously, it's the first day back, so everyone gets tired after a while and people throwing up. But that's <laughs> that's what it is. So. Um, We'll get more conditioned as it goes on. That so. wasn't you, I hope. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm standing back there throwing the ball. So. What are your impressions of Jakari's development heading into his second year and early impressions on Emery Williams? Yeah, Jakari's been great, you know. Um, always a positive guy. and He's definitely uh, stepped up in, in many ways, especially in the pocket. And um, his accuracy has been a lot better. And, um, he's going to be a great player. He's, he really is. So I'm excited to see him um, grow and develop. And also Emery. Um, he impresses me. He does. He's a he's a well-rounded kid. Um, very accurate with the football. Uh, smart. So he's he's gonna be good too. I'm sure, you what don't want to. Impressions of the new freshman receivers. Yeah, they're good players. Uh, fast, very fast. Um, go up and get the ball. Um, you know, they're they're good players. So I'm excited for them to be here as well. So um, they need to get developed into that college atmosphere. Um, we'll see how fast they pick it up. And um, yeah. Colby Young had a couple really big games last year and looked really good. Um, so how have you seen him grow from you know, the end of last season to now? Yeah, he's really taken a step as a, as a leader uh, in the wide receiver room. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for him. He's he's a guy that will go up and get the ball. He, he's fast for his size, and um, he's grown a lot um, from last season till now, and he's still going to grow. Tyler, how does this offense with Shannon Dawson maybe fit the personnel better here? Yeah, I mean, um, it definitely fits it, but I mean, I don't think there's any offense that really, that, you know, totally fits it. Um, mm -hmm. The guys here, I mean, we just have to execute. So that's what it's all about. Um, he's just gonna let us play, let us be free and uh, be playmaker. So um, he's not really on, he doesn't criticize you and all that. So it's good, He's he's he lets us play. I'm sure you don't want to dwell too much on last year, but just I guess one, how frustrating was in and out of the lineup heard a couple times and two what did you learn from last season yeah you know nobody's career is going to be like this you know i mean there's always um ups and downs and um i think i'm just going to grow from grow from it. i think that's uh maybe not what i need but something that just helps me grow in many ways not only in football but also off the field and um, dealing with that so um yeah this year's going to be the year. what makes you uh, you're confident you've been confident yeah. what makes you think this is this is going to be the year. Yeah, just confident. Um, yeah. I know the guys are bought in. I mean, guys are tired of losing and being 5-7. and seven, So um, I think this is going to be a big step for us. 
obviously you were around at the end of the year, even if you weren't playing. Just how did, I know, remember after the last game, Mario talked about Cam giving a speech in the locker room. Just like, how did you see people respond over the last two, three months, whatever it's been since, like, what has the response been like? I mean, I think guys are just tired of losing and being average and we want to win games. Um, so I'm going to use that as motivation. So um, I think leaders have done a great job of, really helping the young guys and even uh, some older guys, you know, step up and understand that we can't be average anymore and we, we want to win. And I know Last every game. offense is similar or different, but three offensive coordinators in three years, just what, what are the challenges of that? Just communication, honestly. I mean, football's football, you know. Everybody runs the same routes and high lows, uh, linebackers, free safety. So it's all communication and how you communicate uh, with that person. So um, that's pretty much the challenge, but I mean, Coach Johnson's a great guy, and uh, we, we connected well early, and um, we'll continue to grow with that. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.